<laughs> what are you two we're doing all, over there? We're, we're already <laughs> laughing here. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Maya Hawk and Io Debery are with us. And you know Maya from Stranger Things and Io from The Bear. Well, now these two stars are in Inside Out 2. It is great to have you both here. Woo! Yes, give it up for them. Yes. And you both, you, you both play new emo, uh, um, emotions, envy and anxiety. And in my, you were 16 when the first movie came out. That is the age out. that I would have been told that I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of impact did it have on you, though? I think at the time that it came out, I was initially at my, like, t like turning my nose up to kids stuff mm. place, you know? And then eventually it kind of found me in a hotel room, like, on demand. <laughs> Remember when we used to do movies yep. on demand? Um, and, uh, and I was so like taken aback by how emotionally dismantled mm. I felt by the film mm. and how much more empathetic I felt after I watched it for everybody. Like just looking into all of your brains and seeing all the different crazy people that are talking to you up there. And, um, <laughs> Don't look too close. <laughs> yeah. And I think it, I, it really helped my family like to have a new way of talking to each other about how we were doing and to see our emotions as something that was occupying our mind, mm. not that mm. was our mind, you know? So it was really important. And it's really cool, these two emotions, these two new emotions. We're not the good guys. <laughs> We're not the bad guys <laughs> either. Uh, I, I don't know if you realize this, but you're one of the fastest, biggest stars, rising stars in Hollywood. Are you, are you aware of that? This, in the same way that Maya was told that she was 16. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like I'm being told. But, but you, said, you said your parents have a way of keeping you humble. Every day, yeah, every day. I think probably just by being two immigrants for sure, but they're all, my mom is always calling and just being like, there's always a room for you in the house. And I'm like, yeah, like the rent's being paid, like I'm good. But she's like, just so you know, like we love you. Aww. And if you, then there's always a room in the house. I'm like, okay, stop, I'm good now. Like, we good? <laughs> Make it a gym already. <laughs> you can do it, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah. What do you think about you being in this film that people just adore? Well, I think they're really excited. It's also really nice, I think, to have something that they can watch. Both of my parents are Christian immigrants. And with the bear, sometimes they're like, okay, that's enough, that's enough swearing. <laughs> um, and so I think they're very excited to see it. But my mom also is a teacher. Um, and uh, I know for teachers, and I have friends who are like therapists, uh, that the films give a lot of language that can, you know, just be really accessible to talk about everything that's going on inside your head. Yeah. So I know she's super excited, and she's told me that the kids are really excited. So Good. That's been really nice. Well, yeah. speaking of staying humble, I mean, this is a star studded cast. Ooh. And I mean, Amy Poehler, Maya, I know that you're a huge fan of hers. She was here last week. I'm a huge fan of her. Yeah, I heard, you would like fall asleep watching Parks and Rec? Well, yeah, that... I mean me and everybody else. Yeah. But, uh, but, I, but, but I did watch it awake the first time. Okay, that's I, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I then just allowed it to, uh, to keep me company. Uh, yeah, I'm like a, I'm, I'm one of those, I need the sleep sounds. Um, of course. Sleeping with the television on, you know, Same. as Billy Joel, I think, once said. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and so I, I'm a huge fan. I think she's so amazing. The way that she has branched out and been so interdisciplinary and is a producer and a director and has written books and is an actor and a comic and an improv artist like I just her reach is so wide mm -hmm. and she's so generous with other artists we were talking about that yeah I have friends who she's produced shows for when I was coming up doing stand-up I remember I saw her at a show and I was like that's Amy Poehler I'm looking straight ahead I'm not gonna be weird or anything and she came up to me and was like hey if you ever need anything like let me know oh. like I have a production company but also if mm. you just like need an ear like as another woman who's navigated this insane industry like keep your head up I think your stuff's good that's, that's wow. awesome just walked away and but I that's like, awesome. touched by an angel but that's awesome to hear that she she does that she yeah. fostered that She's we're gonna take a look at a clip of your work on inside out too let's check it out Ooh. I'm anxiety I'm one of Riley's new emotions and we are just super jazzed to be here where can I put my stuff uh, 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 what do you mean we uh, I wish I was as tall as all of you who the heck are you uh, I'm Envy. Oh, look at your hair. Oh, yeah, not happening. 
<laughs> oh wait! It, it looked like you had so much fun in the booth. The most fun. I feel like VO is like the most freeing mm. for actors. You get to just show up and really use your voice to transform. And also, like nobody's really looking at you, so you can do whatever <laughs> with weird your thing you need body. to do. Yeah. Whatever you need to do to like get there, you can totally do. It's encouraged, if anything. Yeah. yeah. Did you see this? Because I feel like some of the gestures that I was doing to like just help my voice get yeah. there, like almost. Like really silly joke gestures yeah, yeah. to help you do the voice are like in the <laughs> thing. Yes. I was like, no, 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 no. I didn't mean yeah, you. No, no, you weren't supposed <laughs> to. Be looking. You didn't need to use that. I, I, I. I kept saying, I was like, I felt like whenever Envy really wants something, I became like Girl Gollum. Like I would be like, wow. Oh. And then it's like, you watch the movie and I'm like, well, there she, there's Girl Gollum. <laughs> well, folks cannot wait to see this. And there's two shows that you all are part of that people can't get enough of, of course, The Bear and Stranger Things. The final season of Stranger Things. You oh, said yeah. it's been very, it's been a roller coaster, very emotional. It's a, it's really emotional. I mean, being a part of something for a long time, it, it, there, I see commonality between this movie and that. It mm. happens for me because both are things I joined midway through. So I, I'm, I have a different relationship to it than the people who've been there the whole time. But the relationship is like basically getting to hop on a double rainbow. And the double rainbow is being a part of something that is popular, that is positive, like yeah. positive messaging out into the world and that um, is good. That's a very rare thing to have all intersect. It's something good, mm. positive, people actually like it. That's so wonderful. having to say goodbye to something like that is really emotional, especially when the experience of working on it has become so family-like now that we've been through a pandemic together and a strike together and it's, you know, it's been a journey. Yeah, and congrats. Directoral debut in the bear. Yeah. Come on, it's huge. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really grateful. I love working on Bear and the people we get to work with. And again, I feel like definitely a double rainbow feeling. And I've known Chris since I was twenty two and he's always been like a friend and a mentor, but I feel like he was like Jedi mind trick mentoring me the whole time and he'd be like, Talk to me about this movie you saw, or like, how would you do this shot or whatever? Um, and then the opportunity came around to direct and yeah, it was, it was a blast. I'm, it was a really really fun challenge and like a really amazing way to collaborate with people from a different vantage point. So. Will you come direct an episode of Stranger Things this season? Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? I like, I like you threw her in there. You already put her in there. Well, you know, we're, we're, we're happy you both are here. Yeah. Our emotions are running high with happiness. Let's we're go. We're so happy. Uh, let's yes. Go. Inside Out 2 is exclusively in theaters tomorrow. Make sure you go check mm -hmm. it out.